Kia ora, my name is Sharon Holt and I'm the author and publisher of Te Reo Sing Along Books. On this session I really want to help you to realise that we can easily go beyond commands, greetings, colours and numbers. We don't have to have really long sentences, we don't have to know how to say, you know, go over there and do that or wash your hands and then dry them. Those aren't important things to know how to say in Te Reo Māori. What's important is the easy little phrases that are repetitive and flow on and are easy for you to remember. Two, maybe three words at the most. And so I want to bring some of those into your knowledge in case you don't already know about them so that you can use them too. And I think you'll find that this will increase your use of Te Reo Māori through using formulaic language and things that will help the children to learn those words as well. And I think that that will really encourage the whole uh, the teachers and the children, the whole group. So if you would like to learn some easy phrases in Te Reo Māori that you might not have come across before, join me. The first one is actually a really easy thing. If you want to, you could never say the word yes again because the word yes in Te Reo Māori is ai. It's spelled A-E-I. And it's similar to yes in a couple of other languages as you probably know. And I guarantee that if you tried it, like maybe try a day or two days or a week or something of only saying I for yes, it's about the tone of your voice and the fact that it sounds a little bit like yes anyway, you, will, you won't confuse anyone. They'll all know what you're talking about and some people probably wouldn't even notice that you're not saying yes. So I often will say I for yes. If somebody asks me something, I'll just say I. I, and, I, and when I get into the habit of doing that, I find that it's really good. And the children, because they model on you, they will start doing it. You wouldn't even have to tell them to do it. They'll start modeling. So it's a really good thing to do. So what I've got here is three more easy ones. It's probable that you say, Haere mai, come to me. It's possible that you also say, Haere atu, which means go away or go away from me. Haere atu. But do you use the third one? Do you use haere tonu? Haere tonu is a really lovely phrase. It means keep going. And there's so many times you could use it. The children will really pick up on this as well. It's a very encouraging phrase. Haere tonu means keep going as in you're maybe they're in a race and somebody's had a bit of a fall. Haere tonu, keep going. And at the beginning when you're just getting used to getting people used to what you're saying, you could say, haere tonu, keep going, but you probably only have to say it maybe two or three times with the English, and then after that, everyone will know. Uh, somebody might be doing something, uh, you know, some work in an exercise book or on a picture or something, and they, they seem a bit stuck, or, then, or, or they're just sitting dreaming and, or chatting to their neighbour, then haere tonu, Keep going, keep going, and it's it's a it's a neutral way of not giving overly too much praise, as in um, you know great work or anything like that. It's a neutral thing which is very encouraging, and it can help somebody who's maybe not doing much to hurry up and pull finger. So those are three that you'll find useful, particularly Haere Tonu. You're probably aware with this list here of titiro mai and whakaro mai, look at me, listen to me. I don't know if you've used those ones lots of, lots of times, you probably have, but you can just say titiro and whakaro, it's the same thing, the mai is just towards me. Uh, but have you used korero mai, korero mai, speak to me, tell me. Um, there's lots of opportunities when you could use korero mai. So that's another word that you're getting out there, a little phrase which is similar to something that you already say. And that's the key, is to find things that are similar to what you already say. Another one is fai mai, which means either follow me or copy me. One of my te reo sing-along books is called fai mai, so you might already be be familiar with that phrase but the key is to use it so if you are already using that that's really easy you could say to the children find my just like in the book find my come on follow me find my you could do is like a follow the leader game where you're only doing Maori words 
Um, you, could, you could just encourage children to use it in the playground. And it's just a lovely phrase. Again, just a, a kind of a neutral thing. They're not, you're not commanding them to do something or bossing them around. You're just, it's an encouraging phrase. Fine, my, come on, follow me. Me is a really good one to know about because if you put that before any doing words, any verbs, it becomes, let's do something. Officially, it kind of means should. Like if I say, me kai, tato, we should all eat is the official way. But it colloquially means, let's eat. Me kai. So we would start with just the two words, me haere, let's go. So the me means let's. Me takaro, let's play. Me kai, let's eat. Me waiata, let's sing. And I'm sure you can think of many others. Me oma, let's run. Me kani kani, let's dance. Me peke, let's jump. Me piki, let's climb. Me paki paki, let's clap. And it's a really simple way of adding something short to a single word so that you're going beyond going beyond the single words that you've done before. It has to go before a doing word or, or a verb. Um, there's many, many times that you could use that and it's very encouraging and the children will copy you as well. And then once you've got used to that, you can then add tato at the end if you're talking about all of us. So that's a simple one to say, me haere tato, let's all go. Me takaro tato, let's all play. Me kai tato, let's all eat. Me waiata tato, let's all sing. So you're adding, so just gradually from knowing the words that are verbs, you're adding the me before, let's do it, and then the tato after, let's all do it. And it's a, I really encourage you to try doing those simple things because if you can find something like that that follows a pattern, it's much, much easier to use more of te reo Māori. Ka kite.